Why are real estate teams failing in today's market? Hi, I'm Jose Medina with Powered by Impact. And today I'm here to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart and something that I'm hearing more and more often from teams, which is my team is struggling, my team is failing, I'm losing team members, I'm not profitable. Basically, I'm just not succeeding as a real estate team in today's market. I talk to rainmakers throughout the United States on a weekly basis, and I've identified three key concepts that I've noticed uh, that are kind of underlying in all of these teams that I talk to. So the first thing that I have seen on why teams are failing is they are not managing their expenses properly. I think in an up market, a lot of things are concealed and in a down market or a shifted market, a lot of things are revealed. And I think what we're seeing is that when it comes to expenses, there's a lot of overspending that's going on. There's a lot of uh, lack of clarity around what your ROI is on certain and lead leads that you're providing. Uh, I see a lot of teams not knowing what their cost per closing is. Um, and mostly like this stuff was hidden in an up market. And as we're shifting, we're starting to see teams really be exposed to not knowing that information. The second thing I would say is a lack of accountability is a big part of why some of these teams are struggling. And so when we transition from being a salesperson, an individual agent, to being a CEO or the leader of the organization, that requires a different muscle. That requires a different set of skills from just going out and selling to holding people accountable, running leadership through the organization. And I've seen that kind of inspection of leads, inspection of accountability. I see a lot of teams really struggling with that. And again, an upmarket concealed that, and now we're starting to see some of that exposure happening. The third thing I'd say, and this is probably the big one, is I see a, a lack of balance between the split that I'm charging and the value that I'm creating. As a rainmaker, you get to decide what split it is that you're gonna put your, your employees on. And, and what I've seen is that the value that you are offering to an agent really comes in, in three categories. It's either the leadership you're providing, the leads that you're providing, or the leverage that you're providing. And so what I have seen is uh, some teams have a very imbalanced value proposition because they're not offering a lot of value, but they're charging a whole heck of a lot. So these are just three things that I've seen, three themes that I've seen throughout my last couple months with talking to business owners, rainmakers in the real estate industry. I love your feedback. If you're if you're seeing other things, if you're hearing other things, I'd love to leave a comment uh, and share what you're saying. Jose Medina with Powered by Impact.